Hey, this is Skip N. Lately, I've been feeling a bit out of practice when it comes to my drawings, and I wanted to see if I could do something to help change that. Since I ride a train most days, I thought it would be a great opportunity to gain some well-needed practice doing sketch studies of what I see on my commute. When I've drawn on the train in the past, it was always something random or continuing work I started at home, but as I'm trying to put in some practice, it's always better to draw from something physically in front of you. Public transportation offers many different situations, from fashion to poses to lighting, and the added challenge of needing to draw quickly before the subject arrives at their destination makes this a really interesting and challenging exercise for those that might feel out of practice. So now I'm back with a few different sketches from the train. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these and turn it into a manga style piece, and you're gonna see the time lapse right now. As this was more of a practice piece to get me back into drawing after a short hiatus, I wanted to set a time limit for myself. I always find that that helps kind of push yourself to actually do the piece and move forward. I spent about five minutes sketching on the train and then maybe another five minutes refining it. And then I wanted to spend an extra 30 minutes or so to add some details and make it look like a real manga piece. To do this, I used Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Mini 5. These are the tools that I'm really accustomed to and I feel comfortable with. Drawing on the train is really easy because touch gestures just work so seamlessly. And the Apple Pencil is a great tool for drawing. And the iPad Mini 5 being so small, you can take it with you anywhere and just pull it out to start drawing. I only had a short moment to actually draw this on the train, so a lot of this was kind of me adding details that I thought would look nice once I got home. But it's always good to have a base, like a nice skeleton or a nice form to work off of, because you're not always going to have time to draw exactly what's in front of you as is. And that being said, you are drawing people that you don't know, and you don't know what they're going to be doing. They might move, they might change their position, they might leave. And overall, it could also be a little bit awkward because you're just sitting across from someone trying to sketch them. But, you know, I think as long as you don't have any bad intentions and you're doing this as a practice or to learn something about drawing, you should be fine. Another part of this exercise that I found to be really important and something that we might not consider that often is that when you're on the train, if you decide that you are going to draw the person that's sitting right in front of you, that might be any kind of person. It might be a very young person, it might be a very old person with fashion that you might not normally draw, with hairstyles you might not normally draw, you know, something that is out of your comfort zone because you've just decided to draw whatever's in front of you. And it's a great opportunity to take advantage of that and widen your horizons as it might be. The experience that you gain from this kind of exercise is really important if you go to do an actual comic. I find that people often don't draw elderly people or very young children, and it becomes a problem point when they need to draw these characters consistently in a comic, and they have very little experience doing so. So when you have the opportunity to force yourself to draw something you've never drawn before, I think you should take advantage of that. And it also helps alleviate any kind of drawing block that you might have because you're forcing yourself to draw whatever's in front of you. I think this kind of exercise, if you limit yourself as far as time and you have your subject already predetermined for you, it's going to be a big help in the future someday. It might not be exactly what you want to draw now, but you're going to be thinking yourself in the future when you end up doing a comic or a piece that has that kind of character in it. So this is the end result. As this was more of an exercise, I really tried to stick to my time limit. I find that whenever I'm in a rut or out of practice, one of the best things I can do is limit myself and do many, many types of drawings practicing the different areas that I normally have difficulty with. This lets me be more comfortable and confident when I do actually return to a proper piece. And I always recommend challenging yourself and trying to get out of your comfort zone. If you happen to have a commute, this is a great way to make use of the time that you have on the train or bus and practice a little bit of drawings and do things that you normally wouldn't do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like below and leave me a comment telling me what you would like to see next. I'm Skippen and thank you so much for watching.